Welcome to Compileration. Let's go. Iran's missile power is growing when the Russians opposed the sale of Iskander missiles to Iran, few thought that the domestic missiles that Iran was talking about had much power. But Iran built 12 models of missiles from the Fateh family, and the recent missiles are both better and much cheaper than the Iskander missile, which allows Iran to build thousands of them. Iran's strength is its missile system. Medium-range liquid fuel missiles and short-range solid fuel missiles that are located at very large underground sites, and Iran uses this power to prevent conflict. Iran's recent missiles have reached important technologies of mobile output and carbon fiber body with high pressure tolerance, which is very important. Despite Iran's conflict with Saudi Arabia and the United States, Iran considers Israel its first and last enemy. Here we see how Israel wants to counter Iran's ballistic power. Israel uses its own and American anti-ballistic missile systems. The first system to deal with rockets fired by Iran's Lebanese and Palestinian allies is the Iron Dome, which had strong weaknesses in the beginning but has recently made good defenses. Of course, Palestine still uses old rockets. The next system is the David Sling, which is a system that replaces old Detroit and counters cruise and fighter missiles, which has a relatively good capability, and the missile of this system is a super maneuver missile that is suitable for guided targets. As for the main system that is considered to deal with Iran's ballistic capability, the anti-ballistic arrow system is made by Israel itself. In its tests, it was able to outperform similar ballistic missiles. This system is better than the that system in terms of vertical launch, and it is better than the Russian S-400 system in terms of its missiles. Israel also uses the and Patriot 1-3 systems, which are American and have extensive anti-aircraft capabilities. But Israel's weakness is a small area that makes it more vulnerable. There is also no limit to the number of missile launches, but anti-aircraft systems have limited defense performance. And if they want to defend at different levels, they disrupt the performance of others. And also if Iran reaches the intercontinental ballistic missile. It is true that these missiles have a range of 10,000 kilometers. But these missiles can be fired from 1,000 kilometers, which makes it impossible to counter them. Finally, I must say that Israel is defending its existence with an atomic bomb, and if anyone succeeds in defeating Israel that country is full of nuclear pollution.